This is sleepy Craig, Montana, where the population has just doubled. Dozens of women have descended on the tiny fishing town with their waders, rods, and flies for a weekend together on the water. Nice job, nice job, that's a beauty. We drink beer, we pee in the woods, and we hang out, and it's awesome. Heather Hodson, a critical care nurse, started fly fishing 10 years Yay! ago. How beautiful he is. Looking for and fishing so buddies, she started a group called United Women on the Fly. Women are really good fly fishers. For one, we listen. Um, for two, it's not always just about the fish, it's more about the experience. But Hodson says when she walks into a fly shop, she still sometimes gets confused comments from men. What are you buying for your husband? Um, you know, that sort of thing. And I just politely will, you know, maybe talk a little talk. For decades, this was largely a man sport with few female stars, like Joan Wolf. Now 31% of Americans who fly fish are women. It's like yoga on the water. There's something so zen about it. Often, all it takes is one nibble to get hooked. I don't even need a fish. I mean, if someone else catches a fish, like, I'm ecstatic about it. And I think that that's the way it is for a lot of women. <laughs> Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.